you guys, I'm Jen Houston, and welcome to Shut Your Cake Hole, where we talk about cakes, cakes, and cakes. You guys, I have been commissioned by a very dear friend of mine to make a very special cake for a dear friend of his. Here's how that meeting went down. I'm so excited you're gonna make a cake for me. I'm excited too. Yay. So, all right. So all right. Peter is the artistic and executive director of the dance complex at 60, 60's birthday. He's going ah. to be doing his version of the dying swan. No way. He's bought black feathers. So it looks like, um, what's that movie with the, the white swan, the black swan? Black, black swan. swan. Okay, yeah. I told him this is what I was gonna contribute to the party is the, the world's most spectacular cake. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. But no I pressure. Mean, no, no, a really nice, <laughs> Cake. What if I made an actual theater structure that would sit on top of the cake? Red velvet drapes. Wow. Would that be yeah, something? That would be, yeah, that would be something. This is going to be a days long process. Yeah. But what if on like the final day, like the putting the cake together, you helped me <gasps> make this? I would pee my pants for that <laughs> honor. <laughs> Hey! All right, you guys, I got these nested hat boxes from Michael's Craft Store. I just cut out my stage here. I'm also adding a little screw hook to the ceiling of my theater to hold my chandelier. And then I glue the second hat box to the structure. Now I'm doing a couple of layers of black airbrush to the lid of the bottom tier. That's what the whole theater structure is eventually going to sit in. And now I'm going to cover all of my hat box tiers in black fondant. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of day one. Okay, so. What I didn't tell you yesterday is that I had also made my cake board. And if you want to know how to make your own cake boards, please refer back to my cake board episode. Now on this cake board, I am going to start building the three layer Danish butter cake that is going to be the base of my theater. Now what is this shape? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Jesus <laughs> Do not put that in there. I'm going to give it a nice layer of jam. I'm gonna make a dam with some milk chocolate buttercream so my custard doesn't try to escape. Couple of coats of white chocolate ganache. If you wanna get your ganache edges really smooth and you're working with a really cold cake, you just use some really warm water on your hot metal spatula and you can achieve those edges or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Jen, you made it. How are you? Good. Is it all done? I'm slaving away. So I'm just conditioning this giant block of fondant. So yeah, what I'm gonna have you- And you, you made that all by yourself. I did make this. And right. we're off. And you're off, okay. So how's the cake business going for you, ma'am? It's pretty good. Yeah? My website is sugaringbones.com. All right, I'm gonna roll this onto my rolling pin and then I'm going to Roll it up over the cake. Here we go. So this is the base upon which the stage thingy yes. is going. Yes. So Richard is going to start making some... Uh, Filigrees. Filigrees, yes. You might remember Richard from the steampunk steamer trunk episode. Are you nuts? Okay. I'm gonna take this little embosser and I'm going to do a little embossing. Every corner will get one of these guys. You do have a lot of Boston fans that will be inspired by your videos and they go out and they try them after. Oh, I love that. What if I issued a challenge to you guys? Bring it. Recreate one of my cakes. Maybe the dragon, or the undead bride, or the leprechaun. Show me, and I will give you a shout out on my show, and we will become best friends. This is the top of our theater. I'm gonna add the chain around the bottom. I am so proud of my work. Adding some support. 
All right, let's pop this back in the fridge. Okay, so you weren't here yesterday. No. But I built this whole structure out of hat boxes. Put the little stage in there. So that's edible, but it's on cardboard. It's, yeah, so. it's just a it's just a piece of fondant. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Uh, I've printed some pictures of Peter using an edible printer, <laughs> which we will put into a little frame. That's hysterical. Let's hang this really center. Oh my God, this is this awesome. This is wonderful. He's gonna pee his pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've cut some ice malt that I'm just gonna melt down in the microwave, mm -hmm. and I am going to pour it into this mold right there. That's what I want the little chandelier to be. I think I'm gonna demold this now. And then I'm going to attach that to that. Wow, we made a freaking chandelier. Yeah, it'll be cool. All right, so let's make some gold paint. How do we make gold paint? I take vodka, I put in dish. If there's any left over, I'm happy to take a shot. I know it goes bad. Lots of shiny gold dust. Let's see what this looks like. Everything that's white will be gold. I'm sculpting my ballerina out of white modeling chocolate. I'm using a feather mold to make her swan plumage. Finishing her with some edible black paint. All right, so I have finished sculpting my little lady. Put a little gel down. Gently. Gently. Place her down. There she is. She's a beautiful dancer. Okay. Now, let's stack it yep. and make sure that we are in love, in love, in love, in love with it. You ready? Yeah. This is magnificent. All right, I know that Peter is. is going to be blown away by this. I'm glad that you let me help. I am so thankful that you helped me. Because <laughs> it would not look this good if you didn't ask me to help you. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this traditional Danish butter cake with raspberry jam, homemade pastry cream, milk chocolate, buttercream, white chocolate ganache. Oh yes. Thanks for joining me. If you would like something special for your very own and you live in the tri-state area, please go to sugarandbones.com and let's talk about making your masterpiece. And if you have decided to make a masterpiece, I would love to see Absolutely. what you have come up with. And if you don't care, well, fine, shut your cake hole. Who's that unfriendly? <laughs> <don't> <laughs> shut up! It's four o'clock in the morning, what do you want? <laughs> Jen, this is amazing. Thank you so much for this beautiful cake. And Richard's going to send you uh, a little video of the solo that I'm doing after this, and you'll see your cake embodied.